So I just wanted to bring to your notice about a case that we have recently treated at our center. It's regarding a girl called Shanti. Uh, who came to our center, we have obviously changed the name. She didn't attain her menarche, so she was taken to a gynecologist at the age of around 16, 17 by her parents and she was given some medication for which she got her period. Then uh, she was asking like what is the problem with them but the parents like obviously they are from a village, they want to hide things and they told her oh, it's normal for some girls it is quite common that they don't get the periods. So she was like married to a person and even then she was told not to tell her husband about this so her husband didn't have a clue that she was not getting her periods and everything and then after obviously trying for two three years because of the family pressures on her in-laws side she came to the hospital uh, asking like what was the problem with her why she was not conceiving so as soon as she entered my consultation room there was like some changes in her that i could make out that there was a problem with her uh, what we call it as like as soon as i saw she was short and her neck was webbed and uh, she had like some typical features of what we call as a Turner syndrome then what we did was like I just explained to her what we are looking into it and so what we did on examination she was short we did a scan and an uh, internal examination which showed that the uterus was very very small and the ovaries were almost like non-existent so with this we told her this is a problem and we have to do a chromosome analysis to check what the problem was and uh, we also did certain blood tests called FSH and AMH. So the FSH was very very high, it was around the uh, nearly in the 50s and the AMH was almost negligible and the chromosome analysis uh, showed she had like XO chromosome means in women like usually we have two X chromosome but for her one X chromosome was missing. So that is a typical Turner syndrome. So we explained to her the situation. I, I told her see this is a family issue you have to discuss with her husband but tell it in a uh, proper way so that he can understand or bring him to me and we explained. So next consultation I saw them as a couple then slowly slowly I discussed with them and the husband was very broad uh, minded he knew that uh, her chances of conception naturally is very very less so what i suggested to him was first is the general health then after that i told her the only the main chance of her conception would be like with ovum donation and uh, this her chance of conceiving naturally is very very slim maybe less than a percent so they were agreeing to that so we chose a good donor like after checking all her uh, investigations and making her she's suitable for donor we uh, did oocyte donation for her usually in women with turner syndrome and we investigated her before uh, doing ivf only especially it should be a multidisciplinary team not only with the reproductive medicine specialist it should be with cardiologists as well as psychologists because like here the woman comes to your clinic and you say oh my god your eggs are not there she is in a total shock and we got a good counseling services who just like explain to them in a proper way the way they can understand and then after uh, investigation by the cardiologist then we went ahead with the embryo transplant, she was like pregnant the first time uh, first IVF cycle and we got like few embryos frozen as well uh, so she was monitored very closely during the antenatal period and after delivery as well because they have to be very careful because there are uh, cases where there are like maternal deaths during pregnancy and post delivery so this we have to explain to them carefully monitor them very carefully only when they are fit for pregnancy we have to go ahead with these procedures see some chromosomal abnormalities they don't have a cause there is like some derangements like when they were born in utero they have this problem that we cannot uh, prevent it but other causes like for uh, premature ovarian failure would be like uh, women who had cancers like breast cancer or uh, any other cancers like when they were small or ovarian cancers or sometimes um, uh, they have surgery uh, for a severe endometriomas and uh, sometimes there is like a twisting of the ovary what we call it as torsion of the ovary for them then the uh, we have to remove the ovaries and all that with that the reserve become very very less so it is always better that we uh, assess the reserve once the surgery is done or uh, even after ca cancer therapies nowadays uh, the longevity has increased so it is better to assess them uh, nowadays and uh, suppose if the woman is like mid age like before they undergo cancer treatment or anything it is always better 
to freeze their eggs if they are not married or if they are married freeze the embryos so that we got a good reserve so they can complete the treatment and once the oncologists say go ahead with the uh, fertility then they can use that uh, stored uh, eggs or embryos. See the main thing is like awareness so always I tell women that we have to balance career as well as uh, fertility. So don't leave things like until the late 40s when you suddenly like you are in the peak of your career and you come to us saying that you are not fallen pregnant. So first thing is awareness. So do both side by side and nowadays there are many places that uh, encourage this as well. Then if you have any doubt or if there is a family history of premature ovarian failure in your family, come to the reproductive uh, specialist. We can assess your capacity of the ovaries by scans and blood tests and by examination then we can tell you approximately what your reserve is likely and depending upon that you can plan and uh, with the uh, newer lifestyles especially in cities like with the pollution and uh, with the smoking and uh, junk foods and all try to avoid that always maintain a balanced diet and exercise is a must so that it just like keeps you fit and uh, it uh, suppose even if there is a premature ovarian failure the with activity your bone loss is prevented that is the thing i advise the girls nowadays